Thank you very much, um, Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, Ministers and um, distinguished guests. Um, I'll make the leader very happy because I'll be very short because most of what I had to say has been taken up so eloquently by all the previous speakers, including the Deputy Prime Minister and, and others as well. But I just want to emphasise just how important this consultation process is and, and why I'm so pleased, apart from the fact I'm being paid, but why I'm so pleased to be working with this particular government, this particular ministry and in this particular way. Um, the consultation process has been a really enlivening process of being able to exchange ideas, to test out ideas and get clear guidance about what's necessary. And I've been surprised, and I must admit, coming as an outsider to Tonga, I had certain expectations about what I'd find and what the attitude to freedom of information was. What I discovered was that this has been a very long-term process. Lots of people have been pushing and working towards freedom of information over the decades. That at the highest levels, um, in consultation processes with ministers of the government and chief executive officers, it was almost a case of me trying to restrain them in terms of how open that they wanted to be um, in that particular process, rather than trying to persuade them there was some merit or benefit in becoming much more open, much more accountable, much more democratic in the process. So it's been a very inspiring experience to be involved in this particular process. And I think the discussion paper is a clear symbol of that, in that the government is prepared to put out in advance its thought processes about what it's intending, why it's intending it, and giving the information which people are able to critique the discussion paper. So the first part of the discussion paper goes through the general principles, goes through what we'll be covering in the workshop today, um, the scope, the types of bodies covered, etc., the exemptions process, the need for an independent review mechanism, and talking very specially about implementation, because I think that's the big issue that's to come um, facing this government in terms of getting this policy and a future Freedom of Information Act off the ground. But just as importantly is the last bit of documentation where we've provided you with summaries of the critiques that have been made of most of the major pieces of freedom of information legislation around the world over the last 10 years. And in providing those critiques, we give you the information for you to evaluate this discussion paper. You can look at those critiques and say, what is good in other pieces of legislation what hasn't worked or what has been criticised in other pieces of legislation and how does our discussion paper and our information policy stack up against those particular critiques. So hopefully, as the Deputy Prime Minister pointed out, that you will have the ability to use this discussion paper, which we're introducing today, to be able to critique, to inform and improve the whole process. And that this is a very important step along the way towards a final journey. And as the Deputy Prime Minister and the Secretary for the Department pointed out, the ultimate journey, and Shemaine quite eloquently put it as well, the ultimate journey is to have a legal entrenched right of freedom of information in legislation. But I think that Tonga has been very smart in deciding to go this process step by step, testing out the key principles, developing the ideas. When we started this process within the Ministry, our first operating principle that we had was that we wanted this to be a Tongan Freedom of Information Act. We might get some ideas from overseas, we might bring in an external consultant from overseas, but the end policy has to reflect the values, beliefs and needs of both the Tongan people and the Tongan government. And I was very pleased at the very first steering committee that the steering committee insisted on putting, establishing a number of guiding principles which are set out in the discussion paper to guide the development of this policy. And I think it's an ongoing process. So hopefully my role in this process will now almost evaporate and this will really become a true Tongan development of a freedom of information policy. So thank you very much and I um, look forward to the workshop.